So Smash Ultimate Summit 4 happened over the weekend. It was a crazy tournament. Now, I didn't get to catch it all, so I asked you guys to send me your favorite individual games from the tournament so I could check them out, react, and also analyze. So uh, let me know if you like this kind of analysis video where we kind of take a look at one game from lots of different sets. I think it might be a bit more variety, so drop a like if you do enjoy it. Chag versus Base Mage Game 5 is apparently the first match you guys want me to check out. Now, I'm assuming Base Mage wins. Jigglypuff up against Palatina, which is absolutely crazy because this matchup makes no no sense. Palatina's hitboxes in neutral were crazy. Like, already two dash attacks at a back air, back air. If Palatina doesn't nair, what does Jigglypuff actually do? Nair. <laughs> yeah, look at the hitboxes are pretty good. Oh, he was looking for the tech chase in there. Did you see that? That weak nair, he thought he was going to have to tech in. And that up air would have comboed into rest for the kill, which is so scary. But Chag holding up, so didn't need to tech. So that's smart. <gasps> oh, he missed it. Damn. Man, Chag is actually just coming in and just swinging wherever base mage is. Because I think as well, if base mage shields it, it's like... Puff can't get that much. Unless he gets a parry or something. But it's like, he's going to need... Base Mage, I think, needs to come in and swing first. Which now he's trying to do. Oh, wow. No way he wins this game. No way. Base Mage just needs to swing first. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like that. Oh, my God. He's still alive. Ooh. That combo looked true. The parry. That time he teched in. That time he teched in. Did you see he parried one of those nares though? That's how it all started. And then Chag wasn't ready to DI up. So he got the tech chase. And he teched in. Oh no. Just tech away. Puff is too slow, dude. Oh my god. Down throw to get him up in the air. That's smart. Okay, what's going to happen? He's looking to catch the landing. Jigglypuff's broken. How do people say this character's like the worst of the game? I think it was back to back zero deaths. I think he won neutral twice. Did Chag just stare directly at the camera? <laughs> Actually, a zero to death. Wait, can we just look at it one more time? Gets the side B landing forward air into short hop forward air, which combos into grab. No, it doesn't. His shield came out. He could have spot dodged. He could have spot dodged. Down throw to get him up in the air. Catch the landing with the landing up air. Damn. That is crazy. Especially if you think about the fact that since it's Palatina, you could kind of drift one way. And if Jigglypuff is underneath you, you could just teleport. You know what I mean? Like, let's just say Chag is going here and then Jigglypuff is coming over. As soon as they start running, you could probably just like woo, teleport and spawn over here. But uh, base mage, that is crazy. And base mage must have been popping off because the next match you sent me was lavish versus base mage in losers bracket round one. Um, what game is this? I think it was game two. Game three. Game three. What? What? <laughs> two forward it. <laughs> is this a taunt to get bodied? Is this a? <laughs> This is so rough for Crom though, actually. Because every time Jigglypuff wins neutral and can get it into, like, a grab, the forward throw is messed up, actually. Now, right, look, 70. Just go for the grab. Don't go for anything else because that angle is brutal. Yeah, you shouldn't have taunted, Lavish. You should not have taunted. Down there because that combo's into the grab. Yeah, that's why he's going for that. Oh, did he lose his jump? Oh, he just freaked out. This is the biggest taunt to get bodied ever. Also, that side into landing forward air from Puff so good. See, in my in my head, I always like would go for jump forward air here. Because look how they're like above you. But I guess they fall so fast and you're so floaty. You don't need a jump. And then it combos into the grab. And then you get them at that brutal angle. This time he went higher because last time he went low and died for it. But he catches into forward air. Nah. Yep. <laughs> The most brutal taunt to get bodied 
I have ever seen in my life. That was fantastic. Jigglypuff's broken. So now we're moving on to Spargo versus MKLeo. Now, this is this tournament was also crazy, by the way, because I think it was the first time in three years that MKLeo did not make grand finals at a tournament he attended, which is just shows how insane MKLeo is. It took him going by <laughs> ages to, like, I don't know, to, to stop him, and he came fourth. Oh, my God craziest upset ever he came fourth at one tournament in three years it, it's insane how good mkleo is but yeah this is how spargo knocks mkleo into losers which i am very excited to uh to check out here the storyline's so good by the way of spargo winning this tournament as like the new kid from mexico who like i don't know is just insane at the game because that's what mkleo was in smash for wii u and now spargo is kind of like the the <laughs> i don't know <laughs> the successor to that Ooh, I like the patience from Spargo. Look at that. Just trying to get some... Because it's like... He's just trying to get some some safe reads. Like he jumps, lands right on MKLeo. Just hold shield. And MKLeo rolled because it's a really good thing to avoid this kind of mix-up pressure where they can land and try and do a tomahawk grab. They can try and land with safe aerials on your shield. Before they land, you're just like... Whoop. Let me just avoid that mix-up entirely. So that's why MKLeo rolls here. But now Spargo can kind of... Suss that out. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. MKLeo's been, like, calling it. Like, Spargo will be the next, like, goat of Smash Bros. Like, he's going to be better than me. That's a crazy, crazy thing for him to say. You would expect him to be like, nah, I'll always be the best. But, man, MKLeo's like, Spargo? Kind of crazy. Just look at the movement Spargo has. So, now, this time, he lands right next to MKLeo's shield. Doesn't do a landing aerial, just like, kind of, every single person on the lead Smash and or myself would ever do. But, instead, he lands, does a short hop to try and see if MKLeo would do that roll away because he'd be able to hit it with a landing aerial. He doesn't. He does a spot dodge, and then he gets the back air on him. He moves around his Leo's shield so well. That's the first time I've seen emotion on Leo's face. Look at Leo. He's pissed. Dude, that's crazy. MK Lander usually never shows emotion, but Spargo's so good, he's bringing it out. Nice catch. Nice catch. Ooh, catches the roll out the corner. Spargo's all over it with the safe, the movement with safe landing aerials. Oh, that time he went for the grab. Off stage. Leo trying to bait something out. Playing it safe. Oh my god. Hey, oh, he caught him, no. Oh, that was so close. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? What happened? Wait, he catches the upbeat within there. Spargo has no jump right now. How does he not die from this? Leo jumps up. He's coming down. He's coming down. Wait, I'm, I'm doing pause play. I'm doing pause play. He's coming down. Leo goes to swing. He stops in midair as he does his side B. Look how he's been moving down and then the side B stops his movement. And he pauses in midair and brings his legs up. Oh my god. Is that why the forward air misses? Yo! <laughs> the side B saved his life. If he didn't do this side B at this very moment, MKLeo could have won this game, goes on, wins game 5. MKLeo just wins the tournament. Oh my god, that side B. Look how close that is. It's tickling his little toes. No way, dude. No way. Okay, nice. Nice that he jumped back to center stage there in that crazy situation. See this situation where he down tilts his shield. Spargo. Stage control. Catch a potential rollout or run out of the corner from Leo. Smart. Goes back in to pressure him. BAM! Leo wasn't ready for him to run off like that. <laughs> I've never seen Spargo pop off before. Damn, that cross slash was so good. That was so sick. What did he say? That's the power up. Keep up. I got to keep up power up. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I was expecting him to say in the interview. So that sent MK Leo down into the loser's bracket. And then he got taken out by one of... If not Japan's best player at the moment, Proto Banham, playing Min Min and Lucina, my old main. So I am I, I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot from this set watching watching Lucina, because I've played Lucina a fair bit in tournament. Maybe I'll need to pick her up again after seeing this. So Proto Banham looking for those short hop nairs at the moment, because Nair's just so good for Lucina. Man, okay, I, I'm excited to watch this set. I'm excited to watch uh good Lucina gameplay. So I'm used to watching my Lucina and it's uh not as good. 
Shut. Yeah, I would and you should be there too, which is probably why I missed. Because if Halo Cedar works, if you hit their shield once, then the next time if you neutral B, it'll break. So he's hoping Leo just misses this grab and then shields again. But Leo, nope. Let me get out of there. Leo would also know this because Leo used to main Lucina. Nice, just reacting for the um, ledge traps. Yep, just reacting. Yeah, oh my god. Okay, Proto could definitely just do like wait like and then double jump off the ledge or neutral air dodge to get off. Proto has been just stuck at the ledge this whole first stock. All of these wins are like huge upsets. I mean, not huge upsets, like huge come from behind wins. On the ledge again. Leo's literally just reacting. There we go, you double jumped off. You're welcome, Proto. That was all me, actually. <laughs> Get off the ledge, Proto! Dude! Oh my god, okay, he's done it. Oh my lord. This has just been such a brutal ledge trap. No, he's back! <laughs> How does he win? Oh my lord! Get off, dude! Okay, Leo overcommitted. That's the only reason Proto's back. He wins? No, he doesn't. Oh! I told you no! Why did he shield? Why did he... It was the same thing as before. The down air on the shield, he misses the grab, and then just instinctively shields again. Dude, Leo should have known. But in the moment, it's like you just don't think of things for a second. And that all started because MKLeo, like, didn't ledge trap. He went for that edge guard, missed it, and then it switched the situation around. Surely Leo's back to just ledge trapping. Oh. Oh. Oh, up air. Perfect read to catch this. Then catches that. Proto's getting so many reads right now. He read the double jump. He read the shield to the grab. There we go. He finally made it off the ledge with that air dodge. Something I've noticed is Leo doesn't recover high when it's those si crazy situations. Like, he'll make the person commit if they want to win. Like, see how he switched here and then went straight to the ledge? Like, Leo last stock situation, he doesn't do, like, the jump air dodge back to stage. Because then if people are, like, scared, they're probably going to try and read that option. Because it's safer, because you're just waiting on stage to read it. That's something I've noticed from, uh, from MKLeo. Like, that's how he beat Spargo that one time. Wait, let me get it up. Like this, at main stage, game five, MKLeo, Spargo, and, uh... See Spargo, he does a double jump air dodge here, and since MKLeo is just, it's game five, it's scary, he can punish that with like a safe read. So, and then Spargo ends up losing the set because of this. MKLeo never loses a set in this situation. He's like, if you want to beat me, you've got to have to commit and go crazy off stage. And right here, Proto does it. Up B, true combos into the back air. Catches the low recovery, MKLO with a nice smile, with probably a bit of bit of sadness deep down. But that is how MKLO didn't make grand finals for the first time in three years. Just eat a bit of a leave. <laughs> so good stuff from Proto Bantam to actually commit to go off stage to take out MKLO. And then let's take a look at the final match of Grand Finals, Light vs. Spargo. Light also had a crazy, crazy tournament. Also, yeah, let me know. Did you guys like this analysis video so far where it's like a little bit of different games? Let's check this out. Spargo 3 0 Light in Grand Finals, which honestly is very sad for how good Light played throughout the entire tournament that he got 3 0 in the end. Light's crazy, man. Ooh, the overshoot from Light. I like that. But then Spargo with the immediate adaption is like, oh, you're going to overshoot? You're going to run at me? I'm going to swing. I'm going to move forward with this forward air and hit you first as you come in. Overshoot there from Light with the down air. Light's just picking his moments to overshoot. But that seems like such a hard way to win. Spargo's just got to start swinging, swinging. Let, let Light run into it head first. Another attempt at an overshoot. There we go, the jabs. Just set up the wall. Set up the wall. Swing. 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 Just keep swinging, Spargo. Don't let him pressure you. Back air. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, that was so nice, bro. Oh, my 
god. The Nair onto the platform. Jump on top of it with a back air to cover. Shield up to it and he knows that it's sending to the top platform. So instead of the usual weak Nair into up smash from above, weak Nair into up smash from below. That's so cool. 11 to 70% right now. Off the ledge though. This juggle is crazy. 55. Look at him just swinging down there. Covering. Making sure light can't get down. Then up B. This has been one huge juggle. 81 now. Spargo hasn't been touched. Light can't get back. Okay, there we go. Switcheroo. And then Spargo here to win it. Just keep swinging. Because of light so much movement. Nair. Back air, back air, jab, F tilt. Like, there's no point where Spargo is holding shield. He's just like, stop moving, bro. Don't move. I'm just going to keep swinging. And if you walk into it, it's your own fault. And uh, Spargo becoming the Smash Ultimate Summit 4 champion. What a great way to get his first ever win, by the way. You closed it out 3-0. Amazing versus light. You played phenomenal the entire weekend. And you got to do it with your favorite character. <laughs> He's so hyped. Uh, <laughs> 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 this is chilling, bro. <laughs>